they just share with another video on easy math based on previous sunday schedule today i'm going to release a video on trigonometry trigonometry is an interesting chapter okay now let's go through introduction okay now how is the word trigonometry derived trigonometry is derived from two greek words they are first one is trigonon and second one is metron here trigonon means a triangle metron means measure measurement okay from this what is trigonometry trigonometry is the measurement of triangles measurement of triangles is called as trigonometry in other words you can tell that trigonometry is the measurement of sides and angles of triangle okay now we mention sides and angles what is an angle okay now let's take let's take a ray okay now let's take that the ray is this okay now what if we rotate this ray along the along the point a now here the rotation the measurement of this rotation is called as an angle now here the line a b is called as the initial side and the line a c is called as the terminal line you know what is the sense of an angle okay now the sense of the angle means the direction of rotation it may be minus or plus if it is clockwise it is minus and if it is anti clockwise it is plus okay now what is a right angle if a ray rotates one quarter of an circle then the angle between those two rays is called as a right angle okay now let's take some useful terms okay now what is a quadrant if we take the two axes x x dash and y y dash then the those axes cuts the graph into four equal parts right the axis in the top right corner is called as the first quadrant and from then the quadrants are named in anti clockwise direction I mean the his first second third fourth okay now what is mean by angle in standard position okay now angle in standard position means that the initial ray should start from origin and extend in the direction of positive x axis okay now let's take out some another terms angle in a quadrant what is mean by angle in a quadrant when will we tell that the angle is in that particular quadrant okay now angle in a particular quadrant means that in which quadrant the terminal line of a line in standard position lies then that quadrant then that angle is called angle in that particular quadrant okay now what is a quadrant angle okay let there be one line in let there be a line in standard position then if the terminal line 
coincides with any of the axes then that angle is called quadrant angle okay okay now what is the coterminal angle there are two angles with different measurements but same initial and terminal lines or initial or terminal sides then they are called as coterminal angles okay now you may ask how are these coterminal angles possible okay now i will show you with an example okay now let's take a ray in standard position a ray in standard position okay now let's take another ray another terminal side okay now here if you measure the angle you can you don't know that in which direction this ray is rotated it may be rotated in this direction or it may be rotated in this direction right so these two are called as coterminal angles there are some systems to measure angles now let's understand them now the first system is sexagesimal system in this system a right angle is divided into 90 equal parts a right angle is divided into 90 equal parts and each part is called as 1 degree okay now again 1 degree is divided into 60 equal parts those 60 equal parts are called as minutes it is represent like this one and like this it is called as dash it is represented as one dash can okay, now one minute is divided into 60 equal parts again those are called seconds and seconds are represented with two dashes in the superscript okay now let's go to our next let's go to our next system that is called as centesimal or french system in that system right angle is divided into 100 equal parts called as gradients and one gradient is divided into 100 equal parts again those are called minutes and one minute is further divided into 100 equal parts which are called as seconds now minutes and seconds are represented in the same way as before in the sexagesimal system but the gradients are represented with the amount of radians and with letter g in the superscript okay now our last type and famous type is the circular system okay now how is this circular system okay now how can we measure angles with circular system okay now let's take a circle let's take a circle with radius 5 okay now we should cut an arc with with the length of the arc equal to the length of the radius with the length of the arc equal to the length of the radius now let's take an arc okay now this is the arc okay now let's take 
the length of the arc equal to the radius okay now here if we take two line segments a c and a b okay now the angle subtended by them angle subtended by them is called as one radian as you can see it is 57.34 degrees okay guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash the subscribe button and ring that bell icon which notifies you when i release a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video in next trigonometry video we are going to learn about the theorems to prove that radian is a constant